Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Do you ever go against the popular belief opinion? I would bet you do. Probably quite often, actually, but this time there is a gun that I love that was hated in the gun world. I mean, hated for the longest time. And I believe it shoots great. It has incredible ergonomics. It's budget priced. But before we get into that, let me let me dispel some of the more popular beliefs. Here we have a Glock 26. A lot of people say, I, I cannot stand Glock. I get that so often. And there are so many fanboys yet. And it's certainly not Glock. I made a hating Glock video a while back, but it, it's certainly not a Glock. Some people say, well, maybe it's a Taurus. No way. It's not a Taurus. Maybe 10 years ago, it may have been a Taurus, but they have really upped their game. And they have done so well recently with both semi-autos, handguns, and 1911s. So it's definitely not a Taurus, budget price, by the way. G3 XL right there. Is it a 1911? Here we have a Springfield Armory operator. Some people say, you know, 1911s are garbage. Oh, they're so garbage. You know, they, they, they think every gun has to be a, a combat gun. I love 1911s, and I love this operator. I think it's phenomenal. The shooting impressions, the trigger, the overall history of it, 1911s are amazing. I would never choose a 1911 as something I, something I love, but everybody else hates because a lot of people love 1911s. Let me go ahead and roll through some footage and... I'm going to bring it out. When this handgun was first introduced, people had an open mind. They said, you know, it's budget priced. It's a full-size handgun. It's chambered 9mm. Maybe I should pick one up. It looks very well made and has a lot of features on there that shooters love. But the initial reviews were not great. A couple people had issues. I had an issue with it. I sent it back to them. They took care of it. Sent it back to me. It's been great ever since. But people had some issues. They, they had some reviews that were negative. And all of a sudden people said, that gun is a piece of crap. Yet they never fired it. They most likely never even held one. And they hated this gun. They hated everything about it. And they hated the people who loved it. And I never quite understood that. So this is the gun that I love. But yet most people hate it. And here it is. The Remington RP9. Full-size 9mm handgun, 18-round magazines. They gave you two additional back straps. And what they claimed was the smallest grip circumference in the industry. Had has nice ergonomics to it. Forward serrations, drift adjustable rear sight, pinned in front dot, 4.5-inch barrel, full pick rail, and an incredible trigger. Right there. Right about 5 pounds with a reset. Right there i i think it's phenomenal i've run steel case of course brass hollow points aluminum case it's fed fired injected everything and i originally had a problem and they took care of it and got it back to me rather quickly and when ruger does that or other companies do that they say wow their customer service is really good they take nice. care of their customers when remington does it they say well it should never had a problem to begin with RP9, did we forget yeah, how we forget so quickly test. what about the p365 Huh? People love this gun. But initially, SIG had some problems, and they cleaned them up, as did so many other manufacturers. But people were hating on Remington, so when they did it, they hated the gun. And I love the gun. I think it's phenomenal. Now, I want to show you something here to show you that this is pretty quality made. Look at these slide rails. Look at how thick they are. They eventually came out with the 45 ACP, and I wanted it. 4.5 inch barrel, 18 round mags. I wanted that 45. I never got it. I regret it. That was budget price too. And I think they used the same slide because this is so thick. But I, I, I think it's a, a very nice 
handgun. I love the way it shoots. I hope I'm demonstrating that now. It is a very accurate handgun. Now, I love full-size handguns. And I think this Remington RP9, for 230 bucks, I remind you, is a phenomenal choice. You can't even find them now. If I if I could find this for 230 bucks, I'd take it right now. Because, and especially in the 45 caliber, because I think it is really nice. They did a great job with it. They never gave it the respect it deserved. It reviewed poorly initially, and that can really kill a, a gun's reputation, right? from its launch people say it's a piece of crap it becomes popular opinion people say it's a total piece of junk yet they never shot it they never did anything with it but they took a reviewer's opinion and said it's awful and i think that really gained traction and at that time people were hating on remington so that's my thoughts this is the gun that i love that most people hate i'm not here to say I'm going to keep it forever. It'll always be in my collection. I'm going to die with it. You know, I'm not, I'm not there yet. But what I am saying is that everything I fired through this has worked flawlessly. And it's a full-size gun and it's priced well. And I think that if people gave it a chance, they would actually like it. Despite what a reviewer said. Because it really does offer a lot for an extremely fair price. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.